In case you were to take a peek at NASA's information from the 1960s, you would be aware of the distance organization calling Venus a planet from hell. On the equal time, Mars became our destiny. Such careful labeling of the innermost planets is not a twist of fate. In the course of the turbulent area race era, the Soviet Union was fixated on sending highly priced missions to Venus. The hellish planet confirmed little to no prospects for existence, but the Soviet space software didn't decommission the Venera program till the autumn of the empire. Way to Neil deGrasse Tyson, we sooner or later recognize why. Be a part of us as we destroy down the declassified photos from Venus taken by using the Soviet Union. The fall of the Soviet Union become dynamic in extra methods than one. Not only did it exchange the geopolitical route of the arena, but the loss of the empire also sank many secrets and techniques with it. It is not unknown that the Soviets had a deep affinity for secrets and techniques, from going for walks the maximum advanced intelligence organization inside the global to being hush-hush approximately their capacity alien contact. The former superpower contains numerous mysteries inside itself. Except as true with it or not, earlier than the US of the United States took over most of the planetary efforts in outer area, the Soviet Union was leading the sport. At the same time as the Empire had a protracted history of successful and unsuccessful space missions, its biggest fixation turned into at the internal hellish planet Venus. Inside the Russian language, you'll recognize Venus as Venera and for this reason the following name of the challenge that spanned from 1961 to 1983. All through the same time, the USA of the US turned into busy sending its missions to the moon. So strategically, the Soviets decided to apply their sources elsewhere. We can't say that the complete obsession with the second one planet from our sun is bizarre. Did the Soviets plan on the use of the planet's surface as a viable and unbeatable army base, or had been they likely looking to colonize the planet after attempting to find any types of lifestyles up there? It's quite tough to mention why the Empire became obsessed with the hellish planet. For the reason that Soviets commissioned those exploration voyages all through the bloodless struggle, they weren't exactly forthcoming with their pursuits and goals. In reality, everything we know about the Venusian missions is because of unarchived and declassified proof. Even then, it's tough to pinpoint what the Soviets were searching for and if they cracked the secrets and techniques of Venus. The Empire didn't land on Venus once, two times, or thrice. It really is simply fundamental oldsters. The Soviets launched 28 steeply priced spacecraft to the hellish planet, and 13 of these entered the Venusian environment even as eight landed efficaciously. Such state-of-the-art missions had positioned the empire in a main function in space exploration projects. Certain, the United States of America was a near second, but NASA turned into greater inquisitive about satellites and technological configuration than exploring life on planets. Its affection for Mars got here later. So, your records textbook may not tell you this, but the Soviet area software changed into the first business enterprise to send a probe into the environment of a planet aside from Earth. It has every other bunch of firsts on its resume as nicely. The U.S. additionally became the primary state to make a smooth touchdown on some other planet. It commissioned the first initiative that added again picks and sounds from the floor of different planets. Yep, the Soviets had their own one small step for a man, a massive soar for mankind moment, and that became properly before the USA. So how come we hardly ever get to examine about such landmark missions? Very not often. Do not forget what we stated approximately the Soviet affinity for keeping secrets. Nicely, that's simply one of the many reasons at the back of the censorship of the Soviet space program. Back in 1992, the popular employer turned into decommissioned in the aftermath of the United States of America. As the enterprise needed to be revived with its new Russian identification, Roscosmos, a number of its archival facts was either misplaced or destroyed. This is precisely why we do not have a 665-FFA919C35BFA667443E335-0-3B7855 solution for why the Soviets released 28 spacecraft into the Venusian surroundings. But if we had to make the maximum logical guess, Perhaps the Soviet selection to explore Venus was about value efficiency extra than something else. This is not to say that the distance program wasn't constructive approximately the habitability of the planet. They had been searching out sustainable water presence, depth of solar radiation, and the overall temperament of the planet. Without a series of these space missions, 
it might were subsequent to impossible to gauge Venus's excessive temperatures and thick environment. Of course, these days, many cosmologists do not accept as true with that the hellish planet can support existence. The temperatures up there are high enough to soften lead, and water is scarce. Plus, due to its thick environment, the air pressure on Venus is 90 times that of our planet Earth. But these are pretty current and modern-day tidings, and to brush aside the United States' contribution to the study of Venus is equivalent to censoring records. As a ways as the Soviets have been involved, Venus become really worth exploring, even though it turned into just about galvanizing the gap race. You notice, exploring extra-habitable planets like Mars wasn't exactly off the desk, but it turned into extra high-priced than probing into Venus. The whole thing just boils right down to the space from planet Earth to every other cosmological body. On average, the hellish planet is simplest 40 million km far away from our home, at the same time as Mars on average is 250 million kilometers away. Such tremendous variations in distance quantity to drastic variations in fees as well. If the USA of America wasn't the arena's largest economic system, it wouldn't have been clean to discover Mars. Other rumors on the block additionally endorse that the Soviet missions had been unreliable and had massive technical gaps. Seemingly, the spacecraft wasn't suitable to cowl astronomical distances, plus the employer had a bad trajectory of dropping touch with its spacecraft. So it makes sense why the Soviet area software changed into opting for a shorter and nearer transit that could in reality yield effects. Yet, if we don't convey up the distance race on this context, the tale of the Venera missions could be incomplete. The United States of the USA wasn't even on the distance map while the Soviet software launched the primary synthetic satellite, Sputnik 1, in 1957. This specific maneuver had intensified the distance tussle to keep its hegemony. But what's definitely thrilling is why the USA fixated itself on the moon in the first area. Uncharted territory apart, NASA had a series of disasters with its Venus missions in the 1960s and so on. The US Area Organization located itself in an impasse referred to as the Venus Curse. On every occasion they released a probe into the Venusian surroundings, it went horribly wrong. This is exactly why the Soviet Union noticed an opportunity to capitalize on NASA's failures. At that time, both America and America had been hellbent on claiming the distance race. The maximum logical undertaking was to influence away with exclusive options. It changed into a silent agreement. Very strategically, the Soviet space program took maintain of Earth's sister planet. For the agency, the most important landmark in the area tussle was to do something that its aggressive counterpart had did not do. Notwithstanding the Empire's limited resources and mismanaged government, it time and again sent missions to Venus to discover its prevailing role against the USA. In preference to that, NASA had taken hold of the Moon's mission. But of course, this strategic partition wasn't without hostility and propaganda. To cover up their large failures with Venus, the Yankee organization was incentivized to defame the United States' fixation with the planet. In Americanized popular media, Venus turned into dubbed the hellish planet. At the same time as Mars had become Guy's future, these connotations did not matter to the Soviets, though. Their handiest goal turned into to show superiority to the people, and, properly, they weren't unsuccessful in doing so. The Venera missions are almost forgotten in trendy history. But, notwithstanding their dated emergence, those missions have been exceedingly sophisticated, superior, and ambitious. In truth, if we should choose an occasion that marked the sunrise of the distance age, the Venera explorations will really take the lead. Lower back in the 50s, the Soviets began to test with the layout and production specifics of the probes. For the next 30 years, they kept constructing and launching interplanetary spacecraft as part of the Venera software. For the reason that program became running parallel with a tremendously turbulent bloodless battle, the Soviets were obsessed on optimizing their resources. Thankfully for them, the early years of the struggle gave them greater heavy lifting ability than the USA of the US. That benefit proved to be superb beneficial. Maximizing on their capabilities, the United States of America began to construct and release larger spacecraft designed to preserve excessive altitudes and vast distances. The Soviets had been briefed to experiment with both manned and unmanned spacecraft. At the equal time, 
the Soviet clinical community turned into operating on a series of calculations and estimations to create accurate trajectories for the Venus missions. Inside the history, their Mars programs were additionally jogging successfully. For the Soviet Area Corporation, nothing turned into more crucial than developing state-of-the-art instrumentation for these probes. This translated to the largest revelation inside the records of cosmological studies. In 1966, the Soviet organization launched Venera 3, making it the first synthetic probe to enter the surroundings of Venus and effectively touch the planet's surface. This groundbreaking fulfillment amplified the competition among the two superpowers. As opposed to the American missions that had been packed with disasters and deadlocks, the Soviet application persisted to benefit traction. No matter the system's gradual burn, the USA became pulling all the strings to send a success probes into the Venusian ecosystem. The largest trouble with this trajectory become restricted layout capability. The Soviets were briefed to conquer their design issues and released the largest spacecraft of the Venera program inside the 1970s. Their highlighting capability allowed them to behavior the primary dual launches of Venera 4 and Venera 5. Consistent with most historians, this turned into the maximum interesting decade in the history of cosmological research. As a count of reality, America of America did attempt to come up with similar release designs. So why did the Soviet enterprise ship twin launches into Venus? S orbit? In keeping with researchers, Venera 4 and 5 allowed them to report the atmospheric temperatures of the planet and degree its air pressure. However, matters took a completely distinct turn within the 70s. As in keeping with our declassified sources, NASA become right approximately Venus being a hellish planet. The average temperature on the planet's surface became recorded to be 800 stages Fahrenheit. Such groundbreaking discoveries had been commissioned with a sequence of advanced satellites and probes. No matter the tumultuous records among the two countries, the United States shared the newfound statistics with NASA to optimize their Venusian exploration. One of the declassified photos from the Soviet documents shows an instance of the Venera spacecraft. The spacecraft changed into design with more than one modules and sections that contributed to the project's success. The diagram highlights various features of the Venera spacecraft, including the descent module, radar altimeter, and parachute gadget, which were essential for the probe's landing on Venus. The targeted design showcases the level of sophistication and engineering that went into developing the spacecraft. Such pics reveal the complexity and innovation involved within the Venera missions, dropping light at the technological advancements of the Soviet area software during the Cold Conflict era. The descent module of the Venera spacecraft became equipped with diverse clinical gadgets to research Venus's surface and atmosphere. Those units blanketed thermometers, barometers, and gasoline analyzers which supplied valuable statistics about the planet's situations. The radar altimeter changed into use to measure the space to the planet's surface, making sure a managed descent. The parachute device became designed to sluggish down the descent module as it entered Venus's thick environment, taking into account an easy landing. Those functions spotlight the meticulous planning and engineering that went into the Venera missions, allowing the Soviet Union to successfully land probes on Venus and accumulate important scientific data. The pics and diagrams from the Soviet data not best screen the technological prowess of the Venera missions, but additionally provide insights into the collaborative efforts and information sharing between the Soviet Union and other countries throughout the distance exploration technology. No matter the geopolitical tensions of the Cold War, the trade of scientific statistics and discoveries performed a vital role in advancing our information of the solar gadget. These declassified PICs function a testament to the ingenuity and resolution of the Soviet area software in exploring one of the most difficult environments in our solar device.